Hi, honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, I have a Timu unboxing or unbagging. I'm thinking this is Timu number five. I'm not sure. Said I wasn't going to shop with them for a while, and I haven't. But then I started diamond painting. And I know Timu got some good diamond paints, painting kits for the cheap. So we're going to unbox and check them out together. I'll be glad if I get a, a box one day instead of them cramming it in this little orange bag. Okay, let me angle this so y'all can see what I'm doing. All taped up. Being careful not to cut my stuff, yeah. Right. What is this? And I will put the uh, prices of everything on the screen as I edit. Okay. I had something in my Timu cart for a long time. That's the way I do it. I leave stuff in the shopping cart. I'm thinking this is it. Another top like the one I got on today. And I got it in a two extra large. I followed the size chart this time. I didn't just guess. So I followed the measurements. I think I got this for 69 cents. I'm thinking this is the one or either the other one that's in here. But you know, I like this kind of stuff. It's a long tank tunic. Like the one I have on. And I've tried their clothes before and I like the quality. Okay. I think this is another top. This may be the one I got for 69 cents. It was either 69 cents or 29 cents. Okay. Oh, I like this, y'all. Yeah. Size two extra large. Look at that. This wrinkled. Of course, it's gonna be wrinkled, crammed up like that. But <clears throat> I can deal with the wrinkles because I know how to handle it. <clears throat> and they gave me the nice bags this time. Nice Ziploc bags. Okay, with, okay. And I think, I think the rest are diamond paintings. What's this thing? I think it's that this is the sticky mat that will hold my diamond <clears throat> painting drill tray so it don't slide. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a sticky mat so it keeps stuff from sliding off of my table. If I have it tilted, okay. So we're gonna see how this works. Okay, I think the rest of Oh. <clears throat> well, this bathroom sink is stopped up, so I got this thing. It was super cheap, and he needed one. You know, this thing you put down the drain, and you pull out all the hair and clogs and stuff. I'm going to give it to him right now. Just a minute. 
Okay, that man act like he ain't never seen one of them before. We used to use them in the old house all the time. All right, here's the first diamond painting from Timu. I'm gonna open them up because I got an album just for my unfinished diamond paintings. So they can kind of flatten out better. Okay, they all come with the bead kit and the little tray and the, the wax. Okay. Oh, I got me a bird, y'all. Okay. I always get the size 30 by 40 centimeters so this is what this looks like let me pull this back and see how tacky or sticky it is okay that's good good adhesive and I can actually see the symbols and the numbers and the letters good all right let me see let me make sure that the the number of the the doohickey thing right here is on this and it is because I put these in the drawer separately because this is going in my album and I will put the prices of everything as I edit Oh, these are already kitted up. Let me open this. I think I'm still going to pour them in the little bottles. Let me open this thing. Let's look at the picture. What is that? Oh, elephant. Okay. We still got this plastic on here. My goodness. This elephant. It's supposed to look like this picture here. My grandson Makai likes elephants a lot. He can't say the word, but he tries. He noticed my bracelet had elephants on it this one here and he, the way he says elephant is so funny y'all uh, he be trying let me see the stickiness on here very good let me see if I can try to flatten this out so these things be so wrinkled I'm being folded every which way that's what somebody said do pull the plastic back and press it Try to straighten it out. Well, I did flatten that out some. So I'll do them later. And I still want to get into this. I'm trying to see the item number. And I don't see the item number on these packets. 37, 31. Nope. So I'll leave this in here with the picture of it. Okay. Here's another one. Another one of these. Oh. They don't have the number. X, Y, 2. Oh, yeah. The number is on. Item number is on here. Oh, I got some swans. Oh, 
I'm doing the bags are. That's how that looks. Oh, yep. Stickiness is great. And I can see all the letters nicely. Once again, this is a 30 by 40 canvas. That fits in the albums I have. Now, this is a set. What's that? Look at that in a minute. Okay. Look like something I got already. Okay. This. Oh, I know. I've seen this before. It looks like the um, Leonid As Afronov, whatever his name is, the famous artist. And I copied my first painting. Uh, for something like this. I'm going to show y'all. Just a minute. This was my very first piece of artwork, y'all. In 2016, I had two art classes. So, this kind of looks similar to his work. I like his work a lot. So, that's, that's my acrylic painting. And I do acrylic painting, y'all, for those of y'all who don't know. That's my very first piece. Yes, that's what it reminds me of. That's why I thought I had one like it. It's hanging on my wall, but it's real acrylic paint. Okay. okay I'm going to have fun doing this. Yes. My favorite artist. I wonder how folks can take other people's artwork and make stuff to sell like this okay this is the feed packet came with it yes it has the number the item number so I don't have to worry about that and another tray okay here's another one and all of these were super cheap y'all Super, super, super cheap, and they look just like the others I've been using, getting from Amazon. <sighs> Y'all know I love me some trees and water scenes and scenery, and I don't have any of mountains, I don't think. That's the way this one looks. Here's the bead packet. It ain't got the... Yes, it does. It has the number, the item number on here. Okay. Well, what was that other thing I just bought? Okay, this is a thing that keeps your drill tray from sliding. I heard that it was super, super sticky. Oh, it is. Oh, wow. Okay, let me put that backing back on here. Okay. Something is going to work. Either that one or that orange one I had somewhere. How many in here? Six? Five or six? I will be busy for a while.
this is. What is that? I don't know what that is. Wait a minute, let me look. I don't know. Wait, what is this? Okay, this is the correct way. I don't know what this is. I can't remember. All right, well, I don't know what this is, but it's very colorful. And I can see this is sky up here in clouds. Maybe a water scene. I don't know. Oh, it's mountains in the background. Got mountains. And I don't know what. These probably flowers. I don't know. Let me check the stickiness of this. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. And colorful. Look at all these colors, yeah. Bright colors. And the item number is on the package. There's something else bright and colorful. And all of these are going right in my album of unfinished diamond paintings. It came yesterday from Amazon. Okay. This is a street. Cherry blossom trees on each side of the street. I painted something like this. It didn't look like this though. Okay. okay I'm sure I'll enjoy doing this. And item number is on the bead pack. Drill packet. Oh, did it come with a thing? I don't think I shook out one of these. Well, I got a lot of those. What is this? Oh, is this something they threw in the kit? Let's look at it. Because I sure wouldn't have bought these um, drill pins. But they do have the multi-placers on the ends. Okay. That I, I can use in my other drill pins. I mean, I don't use these little pink things. So what is that? The two-placer? I got two two-placers. Two five-placers. They look like a six. Two sixes. Okay, I can use these because these come out like that and they can fit in my regular drill pins that I do use. And I use these tips too, but I take pliers and pull this metal thing off because it don't hold my wax good. But I just take this out and pull this out, I guess with pliers, and put it in my drill pin. I'm waiting on some stainless steel tips to come. I heard they were better. Because I be eating up these things, y'all. They be all raggedy when I get through with them. There's some wax. A little cheapy plastic tweezers. I use these to pull the old wax out of my the tips like that. I just pull that out. I mean, that's all they're good for. What's this? Look like a little pill box. I don't think I would put drills in here. I guess I could. If I had a few left over, I can put them in there. Okay. I mean, it's a nice freebie. And the wax and the little baggies and of course another drill boat thingamajig. Where did the bag go? Right here. 
Let me put this in here. So I don't lose this stuff. Oh, I know what they did. They grouped all the drill pins together in one package instead of wrapping them up in each picture. Okay, that's why they like this. All right. All right. There's another one. I got quite a few. My goodness. Once I decided that I'm going to stick with this hobby. You know, I went all out buying stuff. Okay, nice blue. Okay, there's the bead packet. Oh, tropical sing. Item number, is it on here? Yes, it is. Look at that. The palm trees remind, remind me of Hawaii. I've been to Hawaii quite a few times. And I love it. Nice. Let me check. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. A couple of my honeys have reached out to me about sending me uh, diamond paintings. One of them asked me, what do I like? <laughs> so, I told her, I guess it's a her. Uh, I like landscapes and mountains and waterfalls and mountains and scenery and trees and all that. Oh, there's a boat. And all the symbols are nice and clear. Very, very clear. I don't know if y'all can see them. Let me check the tackiness. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. And numbers are on the item numbers on the beads. Another colorful one. Come on now. Here it is. I got the fan turned down real low. So y'all don't hear that loud humming, but I'm getting hot up in here. Oh yes. Okay, this is a scene, like a sunset over the ocean. Here's the bank. Look at that. Okay, I like that. And the birds flying. We have a good time using the multi-placers on here. The big blocks are the same color. Let me check the stickiness of this. Yep. And there's the number on here. Yep. The item number of the painting is on each packet. Okay, and the last one. Come on, y'all. <laughs> I can usually feel it. Okay.
Okay. This is what this looks like. It's a set, sunset over the ocean. The dark blue sky. Like it's dusk. It's getting dark and the sun is setting. And I'm not sure if that's water or not. I'm not sure. But this kind of stuff I like. And it has nice big blocks of one color. I'm going to have a fit with my multi-placers. Here's the packet. And it does have the number, item number on the packet. Okay, I'm going to try to straighten this out. Look at these wrinkles. Look at all the wrinkles, y'all. Yeah. Of course, they kind of fl flatten out some once all the beads are on there. Don't nobody want it looking like that. I may try to iron one. I've heard of people doing that. Okay, I'm pulling this halfway back. Okay. And I'm going to try to flatten it out. Press it. Press it. a little. To this side. Press that wrinkle out. it helped. Very little. It did help a little bit, but not that much. So, it sure didn't hurt. Okay, so that's the extent of my Timu haul. I want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. I can't think of nothing else to tell you. There's something else I had. Oh, this here. It's a little bitty fold away scissors. I used to have these. I used to keep them in my purse when my kids were little. And I would snip their toenails and stuff with them. Come in this little pouch. Okay. Something I can have on me at all times. Okay. Fold it back up. They fold up real little. And this little pouch here, let me see. All right, that's it, y'all. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. Okay. I'm gone for real now. Bye. Something I want to add. If you should ever take the plastic completely off, um, make sure you test it first before putting it back on here.
because there's a right side and a wrong side to put this on. I made a mistake two times of taking it off and then putting it back on. I'm thinking this plastic is, is okay. Uh-uh. The wrong side will have you just about pulling all the symbols and things off. So make sure you test a piece of it first to see how easy it releases. Cause it's gonna be stuck if you put it on the wrong side it's gonna be really really stuck okay just had to add that tip i found out the, the hard way <laughs> 